We're here for Sound on Sound at the AES show in New York on the Focusrite booth with Will, who's going to show us the new Rednet AM2. So, Will, uh, this is part of the Rednet range. What, what exactly does it do? So this is a, a new stereo receiver for the network. So uh, what that means is we can route any two channels from uh, any other device on the network directly to the AM2. There's then a very high quality DAC on there, which will output at approximately 119 dB of dynamic range to a pair of line outputs on the rear, so that's on two male XLRs, and also to a quarter inch output on the front for headphones on there as well. Each output, so that's the line out and the headphone output, has got an independent level control, uh, so I can change the level of the headphones uh, independently of that of the, the line out on the rear. Mm -hmm. And the, the line out has also got a mute button on it, so I can instantly kill the speakers, as you can hear there, um, which allows you to use it as a very basic monitor controller. It's got two Ethernet ports on the back. They use the Nitric Ethercon connector. Okay. Um, one of them is uh, able to accept a power over Ethernet signal as well. So with just one cable coming into the box, you get your power, you get your audio, and you get your synchronization. Mm -hmm. The other port on the back allows you to chain multiple uh, network units together. So that could be a laptop, which is running Dante Virtual Sound Card. Mm -hmm. That could be another networked audio device, such as one of our rack mount boxes, or indeed another AM2. Uh, in addition to that, we've also got uh, a threaded insert on the bottom, which allows you to mount it directly to a microphone stand, which okay. is how we see it here. And so, in terms of the way that people would use that with the microphone stand, uh, how do you see that happening? So I see that being deployed on, for example, a studio floor. I would sit there next to the artist, so they've got quick control of uh, the headphone level for them, or indeed if they're using uh, foldback monitors in, in the studio floor for that purpose. It could also be used, perhaps not with a microphone stand, but uh, at, a, uh, at a control room position to give you a very quick uh, control of levels and uh, local headphone output. And how many of these can you use on a RedNet network? There's no limit to the number of these devices that you can have on a network. You can have as many as you want to. So uh, you can start off with just one. Uh, you could fill out an entire orchestra pit, for example, with them as well. So there's absolutely no limit to that. And also, if you don't have any of the other RedNet stuff and you just pick this up, plug it into your Ethernet port over, say you've got a Thunderbolt to Ethernet connector or straight into your computer, can you just use it as a monitor controller? Yes, uh, you'd be able to use that with Dante Virtual Sound Card. Uh, so that's the onboard um, Ethernet port being used as a in and out for, uh, for networked audio, essentially, over Dante. Mm -hmm. So you just plug that straight in, one cable from the uh, RedNet AM2 over to the laptop, for example. Um, bring in some power on the DC input on the back, because obviously mm -hmm. your laptop's not going to supply it with yeah, the sure. And then that would give you a very high quality output from, uh, from your system. Right, OK. Um, and how much does it cost then? So the, the price in US dollars is $399.99. Uh, dollars mm -hmm. um, so it really makes uh, a very uh, affordable solution to providing many headphone outputs on the studio floor. And when's it going to be shipping? It's going to be shipping in, uh, in spring of 2016. OK, fantastic. Thanks, Will. Thank you very much. Cheers.